Hey everybody, it's Matt Shares here for a quick episode of the Revenue Growth Help Desk. And today's topic is the big five. This is the punch list people have been asking for as they're wrestling with 2021 and they're saying to themselves, what are the things that I need to be doing? And when we look at market accelerators and we published research in the fall about what companies that were accelerating out of the pandemic, we call them accelerators, what were they doing? But there's always optimism that comes in 2021, a new year, right? We get to turn the page. So there's five things that I want you to think about as you plot yourself on the continuum of returning back to health from your commercial model. Step number one, do you have a clear view of how your commercial model is set up? Is it time for you to evolve yours? We've all been disrupted, so the question you should be asking yourself is, how have I set a fact base? How have I done my own red, yellow, green? And are we positioned correctly? So number one is, I've got to assess what I currently have. Is it time for my commercial model to evolve? Number two, when you think about evolution, do you embark on a transformation or do you embark on evolution? Here's what we've learned at SBI in 15 years. Transformations, no mas. Everyone likes to use the term transformation because it denotes this big body of work. We're gonna go get a bunch of stuff done. It's kinda like working out for three months and then you just stop and go back to eating Doritos. It doesn't work. What I would propose to you is you start that transformation by saying, what is our revenue growth strategy? Understand where you sit on a continuum. Then you go off and you work on some items known as revenue growth execution, new coverage model, new way to think about structuring the channel program, changing of the comp plan, new roles to align with how your customers buy, better digital optimization. There's a series of things, but when you start those, here's the secret sauce. Continue them through what we call revenue growth support. You can do that by having built a revenue growth office. Market leading companies know that when you're starting on a journey to change and evolve your commercial model, you've got to have the infrastructure to sustain. Transformations, if you want to use that term, everybody, you don't win or lose on those in the first six months. You win or lose on those in the next two years after you do the project-based work and assembling those teams. So really think hard about what your sustaining plan is. Number three, back to base. Commercial models have been disrupted. So marketing, sales, client success, customer success, client services, whatever you want to call it. Think about your supply chain. Think about a dollar of commercial spend going from left to right across that. What did it look like before the pandemic? What does it look like now as we come out of the pandemic? And where are you getting the most yield for your commercial spend? We are seeing market leaders reimagine it. Why? Because they're taking digital and they're underpinning everything they do. It was forced upon us, but now they can be a source of competitive advantage. Go unlock that. Number four, coverage. Now that you know where your yield is and you understand what's red, what's yellow, what's green, as you think about benchmarking yourself, you can cover the right accounts through the right channels and you can ensure that you're not covering the wrong accounts. So many organizations had field reps who were running the same motion in a territory, in a patch, all of a sudden the world got disrupted. Don't return back to that. Instead, ask yourself, what accounts do I need to cover? Two things that we've seen big on coverage. Number one, an increase in strategic account programs. People are leaning into their greatest accounts and they're setting up bi-directional strategic account programs that almost remind us from 20 years ago of the old key account plan. How do you really run that? What's old is new. Number two, inside sales. Bifurcate, separate, and think about how to run inside sales into different customer segments. Inside sales is no longer the starting position. Lastly, data. How do you have the right data strategy that sits inside your revenue growth office? Your revenue growth office is the command center that runs revenue for your company. And what you should be thinking about is data through two lenses. Number one, behavioral, leading, and lagging. So what behaviors tell me we're behaving correctly on a Tuesday? What's the leading data? New pipeline, opportunity, movement, that I can tell things are happening, and then lagging indicators. Have I changed the lagging indicators that tell me that we are growing the value of our company through organic growth? And then number two on data is the data hierarchy, right? Number one, descriptive, what happened? Diagnostic, why did it happen? Number three is predictive. Based on this, what is going to happen? Number four, my favorite, if you're an accelerator, it's prescriptive. 
If I don't like what the predictive analytics tell me, how do I now prescribe a different motion, a change in where we target, a change in spend to change the outcome? That's a quick summary of what you should be thinking about for 2021. As always, I wish you good luck as you try and make your number.